All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys finally how to make a grunge Twitter header for your Fortnite account or for your Fortnite Twitter. Now, let me go ahead and pull it up real quick here. Also, we don't need this events list here. There we go. All right, so you guys have been asking me all the freaking time on my channel how I make this text effect um, on Photoshop, and I actually figured out how to do it on Pixlr too. So I'm gonna show you guys how you guys finally can make this like text in front and behind kind of effect. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to make this entire Twitter header in Pixlr. Now I'm really trying to like step up my Pixlr tutorials as you guys can see here. I'm gonna try to do a lot more of like modern designs. I know grunge headers have kind of been like overdone as far as like to tutorials and stuff like that but I really do think a lot of you guys are gonna want to like learn how to do it on Pixlr and I have all the PNGs and all of the assets in a folder in a Google Drive if you guys want to go ahead and just download that first it will be a top link in the description as always and as you guys know before we get into today's video if you guys haven't already left a like on this video and subscribe to the channel please make sure to go ahead and do so I've been putting a lot of work behind the scenes as always on these kind of videos so I'd really appreciate all the support on this video if you guys can go ahead and do so I also really appreciate the the support recently on the channel and these tutorials in general if you guys keep supporting them i'll have to keep stepping up my game as far as tutorials go and yeah i think that's enough for the intro let's go ahead and just jump into today's video all right so we don't need that anymore first of all make sure again you guys download all the assets right away we're gonna go ahead and hop into all of the assets first of all we got the grunge background here we've got the smoke effect right here and you got a png also we have the official header which i'm obviously not going to give you guys because you guys are going to put your own name in for it um we have the grunge effect which you guys can add if you want to it's up to you guys we have the font file which i will also include in the google drive as well we've got the crown we've got the little png heart effects for fortnite and we also have the 3d render png for you guys as well again all these will be linked in the top of the description of this video but let's go ahead and just hop into pixlr i'm going to show you guys how you guys can make it for yourself all right so here we are in pixlr as you guys can see here i have gone ahead and already made it but as you guys know i will i will show you guys how you guys can make it from scratch for yourself We've got all of the, uh, you know, the effects added. We've got all the PNGs here. All right, so from the Pixlr homepage, guys, all you guys need to do is create new with your standard 1500 by 500 for a Twitter banner. Now, if you guys want to do like a YouTube banner, you could as well. I'm just going to put grunge Twitter banner. And uh, we don't really need a background on this one, to be honest. And we have the template right here. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with the background. We're gonna hit layer, add image, add layer. And let me see if I can get this assets folder open here. There we go. And we're just going to double click on the background right here. Now for this background, all I did was I rotated it. So if you guys, to rotate the image, you're just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna rotate it to get it about as even as I can. And we're just gonna make it bigger here until it fits width wise and doesn't have the little text in it either so we're gonna put it right about there i'm gonna click enter now i did add a few effects to the background as well so if you click on it of course we're gonna go to adjustment and we're gonna add a little bit of contrast to make it a little bit darker and we're gonna go to filter and we are gonna add i believe it is scan lines and this gives it a cool effect in my personal opinion you guys can affect like change this how you guys like but i'm just gonna leave it on a low amount here and i'm just gonna click apply and as you guys can see it adds a little bit of a cool effect to the background now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna just toss in a lot of the images that we're gonna use right away we're gonna toss in the 3d render which i had and we're gonna drag it down to scale two but i had this around the right side of the image so we're gonna put that right about there. Now I'm gonna do the text last. I'm gonna make sure I have all the images and the smoke in front of it and the effects first. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus on the 3D render that we just put in. So obviously I'm gonna go to adjustment, brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna drag that contrast up a little bit. And I'm also going to go to filter and I believe it was fringe and I just added a little bit of this as an effect to it as well. I'm gonna leave it at about four and hit apply. Now I'm gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and I'm gonna grab this smoke right here, and I'm going to drag it right in front of it. And I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go to here, and I'm gonna go to transparency, and I'm just gonna drag the transparency down so it gives it a little bit of a kind of like overlay effect, and I'm just gonna click out of that. 
And I also had a smoke in the background. So I'm actually gonna go in the smoke and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm gonna drag the, the smoke that I just duplicated underneath the 3D render right here. And then I'm going to, oh, I don't wanna do that one. I wanna make sure I grab the one underneath. Oh, gotta lock the one above. That one. We want to be moving the one in the back. And I'm gonna drag this up a little bit over here. And I'm gonna drag the transparency of the one behind down a little bit more. So it gives it a kind of a cool effect. Now let's go ahead and add the little uh, hearts as you guys see there in the thumbnail. We're gonna go to layer, add image as layer. And we're gonna click on this. And I'm going to put it again. And I gotta unlock this to drag it down. We're gonna drag it underneath 3D render so it goes behind it. And I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. I had it right about here. All right, so for here, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click on the three dots. And I'm gonna drag the transparency down a little bit to give it a little bit of an overlay effect. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do with that. As you guys can see, this is not too advanced of a tutorial. All we really need to do next is wor worry about the text. The text is probably gonna be like the most difficult thing in this tutorial in general. Now to do text, make sure you guys download and unzip that font in the Google Drive. If we go to desktop, um, it's like it's like the Hyundai font or it's called H-Y-U-N-N. But if I double click on the actual font, as you guys can see here, it has the Hyundai logo because it is like the same font they use for their logo, I believe. But to add fonts, I have a full video on it. I'll toss a card up if you want to learn how to add fonts or you guys can use your own font. You guys can just follow the same thing I do. Adding fonts is super easy in Pixlr, but if we go back to Pixlr, we're going to go to text. I'm gonna go to add text and I already have the font open here and I'm just gonna put ice kicks. And there we go. And then I just need to go to size and drag the size up a bit. And I believe I had it right about here. There we go. Now the key thing is that for the text is that we have a text layer above the render and below the render. So we wanna duplicate that text layer and we don't want to touch or move any of these either we want to take one of the duplicates and we're going to drag it again underneath that 3d render now what we're going to do with the top text layer actually is we're going to, to click on this and we're going to go to i believe it is styles and we're going to go to outline and we're going to go to punch out now this is the key you need to have punch out and we're going to take the size and we're going to drag it down to about like the lowest it can go. We're probably just going to leave it at one and we're going to go to color and we're going to go to white and click OK. And that essentially is how you guys get that like cool overlay effect, which I think is super, super cool. As you guys can see here, it looks a little bit weird and I'll show you guys how to fix that. If you guys do want to spend the time to fix that as well, like I did, but let's go ahead and just finish the rest of the rest of the um, text and like the other effects so you guys can know how to do that. But we're going to add another text layer and I'm going to go to add and I'm just going to do ice kicks again. And with this one, we're going to drag the transparency pretty much as low as possible. Go right about there so it kind of blends in with the background. We're also going to go to styles and outline and punch out, and we're going to go to white as well. And then we're going to drag that all the way underneath the 3D render and the smokes. And then we're going to put that like right over here, and I'm going to make it maybe just a tad, a tad bigger. And we're going to add it right about there. I'm also going to make the punch out a little bit smaller here there we go as you guys can see here it adds a little bit of a cool effect behind it which i think is pretty cool and then i'm gonna add another text layer and i'm just gonna put content creator because i'm a content creator if you guys are a streamer add streamer right there um kind of like whatever you guys do i guess um, i'm just gonna drag it down a bit and i had it right above the ice kick so i need it a little bit smaller I believe I had it right about here. Make sure that lines up pretty good right there so it looks really clean. Now again, we're gonna go to layer, add an image as layer, and I'm going to find that crown PNG that I also gave you guys as well. I'm gonna hit edit, free transform. I'm gonna drag this all the way down. And I kind of messed with the shape a little bit, but I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, drag it down. And I am going to put this right about here. Now again, for this PNG right here, the little crown, I'm going to drag the transparency down a little bit just to kind of blend it in. Not too much. 
there we go and then we're gonna add some cool grunge effects as well we're gonna go to the pen tool actually and i'm gonna click on the very base grunge layer behind like the background actually and i'm gonna change the variant to i believe it was crayon which looked kind of cool and just make sure the size amount and opacity is the same that i have it up here and i'm just gonna add some cool effects to the crown and to the other i believe it had like this and a little x there a little x there there we go you guys can draw a bunch of cool stuff if you really want to if you, when you use the crayon tool it makes it look really cool and as you guys can see here we pretty much have the whole thing done and i'll go ahead and show you guys how to make the text a little bit more clean if you guys do want to so as you guys can see here if we zoom in super far we can see that the text really isn't like i don't know why it does this on pixlr and photoshop it doesn't but it gives like a little bit of like you can see little gray areas now we're going to try and fix that so how to fix that actually is we're going to take the like text layers that we have here so this is the one above we are going to rasterize this we're going to layer rasterize as an image we're going to go to the other text layer layer rasterize text slash element and this is the ice kicks in the background okay so all we need to do here is go to the top text layer which is this one right here and we are going to go to merge down we're going to go to merge down again merge down until we get to this other text layer and we're going to merge down as well now you guys can pretty much as you guys can see here move the entire thing um it's kind of all like connected now or like all combined now what i actually did here was i zoomed in super far and what i can do from here is actually go to the lasso tool go to the polygon lasso and all i have to do really here is just outline it and remember you click on each point you want to make so i clicked in the corner i'm gonna go to the other corner i'm gonna click I'm going to click again on that other corner. I'm going to click again. And I'm just going to kind of create that box. Obviously, I didn't do a very good job in the uh, top, but I want to make sure I'm clicked on that layer that I just merged. And I'm going to go to the draw tool. I'm going to have it on white, as you guys can see here, color white. I'm going to go to opacity 100%. And I have my brush on pretty large, but it doesn't really matter. And then, as you guys can see here, I can just kind of fill in all of that area that wasn't completely white. And I can go to select, deselect, and I can kind of just repeat that process again going to the polygonal lasso. I can kind of just repeat that process along like the entire image, as you guys can see here. Um, this might take you a little bit of time, it's a tad tedious, but I think it just makes it look better in the long run. I'll click here, click here. We're just gonna start by going through a lot of this. And we're gonna go to the brush and we're gonna color all of that in. Boom, 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 boom. Select, deselect, go back to the polygonal lasso and go all the way around this layer right here. And where did I start this? Oh yeah, here. I started it over here. And we're gonna go to the brush tool again and color that in. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, select and deselect. And go all the way around this. And go up here. Click through there. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the brush and color all of that in and select and deselect now if i zoom out here you guys can see the difference between like the area that i have like filled in with white and the area i haven't as you can see you can see a lot of the gray in the left but or in the right side but you can't see any of it in the left side so if you guys want to go through the process again just zoom in a lot and then like every, i'll go through in a little bit of an example right here but like all we really have to do here is kind of just outline this so you can zoom in as far as you want with the scroll wheel on your mouse which is essentially what i'm doing because it just makes it so much easier but like you can just go around all of this and like this just clicking at every time you want to place a marker and then we can just go through there and again just use the brush tool and fill all of that in and it just makes it look so much cleaner I'm gonna go select deselect and then again if we wanted to do it for like the i and the k it's super super easy for these just click the polygonal again 
click over through here. We're gonna outline it. Boom and boom. Brush tool again. We're just gonna fill all that in. And you guys can repeat for the K and for the Z as well if you guys really want to, or you guys can just leave it be if you don't want to spend the extra time. And yeah, I think that is about the tutorial. This was actually a little bit simpler than I thought. I made a lot of this stuff in Photoshop so you guys didn't have to make it yourself and you could just toss it in. Now you guys should know how to export, but again, I'll show you guys just in case. We're gonna get file, save, we're gonna quality, make sure you have it on high and make sure you drag it from 90% all the way to 100 name it whatever you want make sure it's on uh, 1500 by 500 width and height which it should automatically be we're gonna click download and then as you guys can see here you can get the file right here and if we open it so we get the full twitter header right here which i think looks absolutely clean and as you guys can see here what i mean about like the k and the letters these letters look super clean because i brushed over the entire one but the k i didn't and i did the i and the c which also looks very very clean and then I didn't on the Z, but I, you guys can see what I mean. But yeah, super easy tutorial. You guys can do this however you want. You can add a different 3D render and just do the effect on the other render if you guys really wanted to. But yeah, I think that's gonna about wrap up this video. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful at all, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to check out some of my other content. I've been uploading pretty much every day here on YouTube or as much as I can get videos out. So yeah, I really appreciate all the support on this video and all the support on the channel recently. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel channel. Thank you for watching. Peace.